Oh, hello there. My name is Kyle Jacobson, and today I am going to share with you my newest uh, nature documentaries. It is called The Woods of the United Kingdoms. Today's wood will be a wood called saw wood. That is saw as in I am going to saw off this small child's arm. Not saw as in my hand is sore from eating too much bread. As you can see, sawwood is famous for having big power lines going through it. We will be careful not to do touch them in case we explode. Notice the yellow flowers coming from the ground. They were first planted by Julius Caesar in 1806 and have not they, are, they have not died since, they have always been there. And that is why I am here. I saw these flowers from my zeppelin. You cannot see it right now, but trust me, it's there. And I thought, you know what, those look a lot like the Julius Caesar flowers. Sure enough they were. And then I saw this beautiful wood. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to film a nature documentary about this wood. That is what you are watching now. You are watching Kyle Jacobson's woods of the United Kingdom, starting with saw wood. Notice that as we enter the wood, beautiful bird song can be heard in your ears. This is because birds welcome my beautiful presence. Here we can see some leaves, dead from the previous leaf famine. Over here, if you look closely, you can see small daffodil glistening in the sunshine. But I digress. Up here we have a beautiful wooden plank to show us which way to go into this beautiful wood. I mean wood, I'm sorry. Oh look, what is this? The path is splitting in two. Which direction do I go in? Let us look at the signs. That one says public footpath. That one also says public footpath, but bar week. Looks like good old fashioned ingenuity will have to tell me which way to go. Now let's see, whenever I go into a maze, I tend to go left, you see, you keep to the left. I don't know what sense it makes, but you know, and right, hmm. Well, in Super Mario games, Whenever you have a choice, to, you, you have the choice between two doors, you go right, you see. So, hmm, it really depends who I trust more, mazes or Super Mario. Well, let's look into this a bit more depth. Mario is Italian. The Italian president is Silvio Berlusconi, who is currently on trial, a trial at which George Clooney is testifying. Now, George Clooney starred in a remake of Ocean's Eleven, the original of which was in the 1960s which brings us back to the Kennedy assassination. So Kennedy was struck on the right side of the head, so maybe I should go right. But then again, Kennedy was a left-wing politician, and his car did turn left from Houston Street onto Elm Street. Hmm, this is indeed a dilemma. But I'm going to risk it and uh, go right. Notice here, the beautiful log has fallen from its ancestor. This is truly a warning, that if we go past this log, we shall die a horrible death. As we go deeper into the woods, we can see the power lines overhead, showing us that electricity is never far away. Oh, look at this, it's a little enclosure, no doubt created by the Spanish Empire to hide from werewolves and other such mystical beings. Look at this on the floor. It is a twig. No doubt a twig from the Spanish Empire that they believed could help protect you from werewolves and other mythical beings. As we leave the enclosure, feel the presence of uh, Werewolves leaving you. 
Here we are now in the heart of the forest. Listen to the sounds of the night giving birth to its babies. Nothing like what you hear in Morocco or any other such places. This is a unique sound only found in the forests of the United Kingdom. Look at these tracks. No doubt from a giant mystical creature that uh, no one knows about yet except for me. Sorry for my whispering, by the way, but I do not want to startle the creatures of the night. Or in this case, the morning. Because you know, they, they listen and they think, oh, he's talking too loud. If he's whispering, he must be friendly and therefore we can trust him with our with our society. Look over here, another tree has fallen down. No doubt destroyed by that giant monster that made those tracks I mentioned before. No doubt the very giant monster that that tree before was warning against and displaying certain death. Sorry, I thought I saw Bigfoot. Over there, I just saw a little bunny rabbit. I'm sorry if the camera is shaking, but I did not bring my camera shaky gloves. I just went in alone. A foolish mistake, I now know. But trust me, there was a bunny rabbit there. Maybe if you pause the video, you can, you can see it. Look, look, what's this? It's an arrow with bullet holes in. No doubt bullet holes put there by the, uh, Ancient Romans on their visit in the 1500s. You see, the ancient Romans were always fans of uh, shooting arrows. It was a uh, it was a tradition in uh, in Rome until it was abolished in 1653 by the Pope because the Pope was a big fan of arrows. You see, and uh, he was not a big fan of guns, so you know the whole thing got cancelled eventually. A shame, really. It was a great tradition gone to waste. Okay, what's this? What's this on the floor? Look at it. Look at this. It's, it is a it is a gun shell. It is a shell of a 72 caliber bullet. Uh, very, very powerful little gun. It can shoot through the whole world if you aim it right. Uh, it is full of mud right now, most probably because the, uh, the Pope, you know, the ancient Romans, all that. But still, this is a very uh, interesting find, if I do say so myself. Uh, it's a red bullet, uh, no doubt, uh, the color of blood to uh, to make sure that you, uh, if people saw bullets flying by, they would just think it was a drop of blood and that they would not, they would not question the bullet. and. That was why they were red, and uh, there's nothing more to say about it. I will put it back on the floor. Uh, look at this here. It's a stick. A stick in the ground. I must say, you do not get anything like this in my country. Whatever country it is I come from. I haven't decided on my accent yet. But look at look at this stick in the ground. You'd, it's just amazing, if I do say so. And the shadow, too, is... Actually, this might be, this, no, no, this definitely is a sundial, a sundial used by the uh, Greeks when the Greeks came into this forest. Uh, it would tell the time, so see, it's, it's on this leaf now, which means the time is uh, uh, about 11.30 right now. That's what that tells us. You see, it's, e even then, even then they had amazing ways of telling the time. If you ask me, those are still better, still better than watches. And uh, anyone who thinks watches are better is just a complete moron.